Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. The big news in Linux today is the fact that Ubuntu will no longer be using Unity in their next big release, Ubuntu 18.04 LTS, and that they're going to be going back to the GNOME shell. And so this is something that is kind of surprising, but not at the same time. You know, um, there's been a lot of, I would say, hate and dislike for the unity interface now i myself i don't hate it i just simply don't think it's a really good user interface okay and a lot of people would agree with that and that's why a lot of distros don't use this unity um, interface as a matter of fact i think ubuntu is the only one who actually uses it and so the whole idea with the plan for unity was the fact that uh, mark shuttleworth the basically the founder of ubuntu he wanted to have a single unified operating system okay hence the term unity so the whole goal was to have an operating system that works on mobile as well as it does on desktop seamlessly and I'm not gonna lie to you I mean I really was interested in the original Ubuntu phones you know it looked like an alternative to the Androids and um, iOS of the worlds and it actually had promise and the fact that this is from a Linux provider I was like more excited about it, okay but the reality is the Ubuntu phone never caught on even the most recent most powerful one which was last year it was actually a Mate 2 Pro 5 and it has a Galaxy S6 processor but you know it just didn't have everything that you would want on a mobile phone I mean the first thing is that it didn't have the ecosystem okay it's gonna be hard to even make a dent in what uh, Google and Apple has already done okay so people don't really buy a phone honestly for the hardware or even the software you know they buy it for the entire ecosystem okay and so even though I really saw potential in the Ubuntu phones with the unity interface I just didn't really see the market for it and once again it didn't have the proper ecosystem to bring in a lot of people so there was potential there but you know the potential was just lost okay so in terms of like where the unity engine would have shined if they kept going forward with it and if more people adopted with it I would say in mobile okay I could see unity working a lot better in mobile it just looks better and it just looks more I would say seamless you know on mobile you know whereas on the desktop I don't know the desktop it looks incomplete to me you know it looks more like a mishmash between a Mac and also well I don't know a Mac and some form of Linux you know I, that it just didn't look good to me you know and I'm not saying like Linux Mint I love Linux Mint you know um, cinnamon is not the prettiest uh, version however it is functional and it's really easy to use you know because it's very similar to what a lot of people would be accustomed to okay whereas unity it's just different you know and it's not different in a good way you know it's more like it's different for the sake of being different okay and so I don't know if that was the intention but it just didn't work out too well for the desktop okay if, if it was anything close to what they had here on the mobile I would have liked it a lot better this one just looks a lot more polished okay it has a little bit of Apple on here a little bit of Android and maybe a little bit of web OS it just looks really really clean you know I just uh, can't figure out why they couldn't get that similar look here this one just looks very uh, old um, and also um, very I don't know not as polished is what I would say okay so that 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 is one of the main reasons why I didn't like unity you know it's just it didn't have that refinement that polish and also at the same time it was just weird you know I just never got used to it and it, that I think that was one of the big reasons why a lot of the Linux community didn't adopt it you know and also when it came down to it you know it was a business decision you know I mean Ubuntu was the only one working on this unity engine and it really wasn't adopted by any other Linux distro so you wouldn't have that I guess exposure that you would want and also Ubuntu does have a large commercial interest as well and so you know all of this stuff costs money and so it makes complete sense you know that they would do this um, and 
it's at a time where it, it would make sense okay i mean ubuntu it is losing a lot of its i would say its luster you know and also a lot of people are using distros like linux mint more and also newer distros like ubuntu mate or or, or arch or interagos um, or there's so many other ones you know there's so many other really good distros that are coming out and ubuntu is the base for a lot of these but unfortunately the main one is not the one that people use and i think to me a lot of that has to do with unity and so i think this will really be a good move for uh, linux users and especially for ubuntu you know there were a lot of things that I liked ubuntu and ubuntu was really the first one that was really usable and the one that i got started using linux on on a regular basis and so we owe a lot to ubuntu but you know they did need to make some differences in order to get people using it again okay the majority of linux users back again you know and just really stir up some more excitement for the ubuntu desktop os so that's my thought on this whole news you know what are your thoughts on it do you think this is a good move do you like unity and also you know now that it's going to be going back to default gnome i mean this is built on top of gnome but you know what do you think i mean i really think overall this will be a long-term strategy that will actually pay off for Ubuntu you know I could I could see Ubuntu coming back up to you know the high standards that they had before and also the adoption that they had before and I really hope that whatever they do with GNOME in the future I really hope that it looks more like this okay and if it look more like this it's gonna be even better you know and that's one of the things that I feel like for the most part it's not always the case but most uh, Linux distros that don't have that overall polish okay and when I say the overall polish I mean just everything just works really well together you know like I said there's other distros out there there's KDE Neon and Terragos and there's so many others that get really close okay and they have that really beautiful look but you know I think if it's any Linux company that's going to be able to put this all together I think Ubuntu has a shot at it so those are my thoughts and so um, if there were any other thoughts leave them in the comments area below and as always, if you did get a lot of value out of these videos, leave a like and subscribe. And if you did want to support my channel further, you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. We'll see you on another episode. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.